Taurus, come on in. Put your feet up, make yourself at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen <laughs> All right, Taurus. Let's do your reading. A little meditation. But nothing specific came up. So I want to kind of go in raw here. Nothing really specific came up. No words in particular, so... Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. I'm not doing private readings at this time. I've kind of tried to work my life around them, but it's uh, I'm a single mom. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard. And we have so many hours in a day. Taurus, love reading, please. That was the shuffle. Five cards, all right. Unusual. Things aren't really going to be moving forward anytime soon for you here, Taurus. And if you're a cross watcher looking in, yeah, no, Tur Taurus is not budging. The overall, yeah, well, still even the bottom of the deck, there's there's no movement here. Yeah, sorry, I didn't even show you. I'm, I'm almost as if I'm talking to myself. The uh, hangman in reverse. That's sort of like... I, I, what I want to say, there's a f massive, not just a regular size, there's a massive, brightly coloured elephant in the room here between you and the person of interest here. And it's not moving. The vibe here, we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse, could be you. It's just this, this sensation, sensation. Oh, I don't normally say that word. There's this sort of sensation here of I've got too many words coming to my head. Jesus, work, cough, slow down. Not being prepared, not being ready, not being able to. All right, not being able to. Do anything like even uh, sex is really coming up big in this <laughs> sorry sex uh, is not coming up at all that's what i kind of mean to say uh, this uh, it's it's a big hurdle in this it's not happening oh that's an uncomfortable feeling When you are in a relationship with somebody and they cut off from you intimately, but you're in a relationship with me, you're not allowed to have sex with me, but you're not allowed to have sex with other people or think about having sex with other people or, or look at other people or, but you know, you're not allowed to leave me. That's that. This is, this is it. This way. Like, that's, that's, the way it is, you're not allowed to cheat, you're not allowed to not cheat. I'm not that willing to let you do whatever you want with your life either, but you can't have me either. <laughs> I think that's that's sort of this, the way it's going and it's knocking everything else in your life sort of out of alignment. Part of that big old elephant in the room. So come on, let's put some more cards here. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles in reverse. Hey, Gary.
All right. Yes, I'm gonna put my card there. This is a nice angle, pleasing angle for me to look at. Sorry, totally was up. Yeah, this is someone who can't. Can't do anything. Can't open up about the way he, I feel like this is you that I'm talking to as a Taurus, but I feel like there's cross watchers involved and this is what your Taurus is doing to you. But I feel like coming from a Taurus's point of view here, you're not getting any baby and you're not allowed to feel how you feel and you want to. You want to express yourself, you want to be yourself, you want to love, you want to feel affection and, and attention and <sighs> all these wonderful sensual feelings that, that you're being denied. And if you could, you would... walk away from it but you can't walk away from it at all there's no possible way you can walk away from it I've got the this is the devil but it's called the shadow side in this deck it's a very unhappy unhealthy toxic relationship it's like even in the background here we've got these fox gloves and if you could you would be looking elsewhere you want to look elsewhere you don't really know what to do you don't know what to do why is the shadow side here Ah, so there's a um, perhaps a, a, an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You want to go for it, but she's in reverse here. So if you go for it, there could be there could be a lot of talk about that. I think you could be very happy with this person. But I'm sort of hearing you say, what kind of an asshole would I be to leave this, even though I'm dreadfully unhappy for that? Because girl, there's a few reasons. You don't want the person that you would move towards to uh, have the backlash of gossip. They've done nothing wrong and you don't want them to um, feel the wrath. It could be a whole new start, you could be happy, but you have to be cold towards this person. This is also why the Queen of Swords is in reverse. You have to be cold towards this person. You have to cut them off because you're trying to protect them. You want to go for it. You want to just let your hair down and, and love because uh, it's, it's like you're walled up in concrete. And it's driving you crazy, <laughs> literally climbing those walls. I, I feel like it's like the person in your life at the moment is expecting you to be some sort of eunuch or, you know, male or female version of that who, who, who has no sexual desire, like asexual. You must now be completely asexual because, because I am. I don't want to have sex with you, but I don't want you to have sex with other people. I don't want you to want to have sex with other people. I don't want you to think about having sex with other people. You're not allowed to express yourself in any way sexually. 
uh, not allowed to read dirty magazines or look at porn. There's an outlet, even though, you know, I don't particularly like the outlet myself. I don't think it's a high vibrational way of relieving yourself, but you're not allowed to anyway. You're not even allowed to use your imagination and you're certainly not allowed to do it with them. Oh, oh something just came through. And if you do, and if they do allow you to have sex with them, it's completely under duress and it's like, uh, it's like you're having sex with somebody who doesn't want to have sex with you. So you sort of feel like you're doing a bad thing, a wrong thing, but you, you're, you know, you're not forcing them. They're just doing it. Well, okay, you know, you must do it. You must. And you sort of feel like, well, I don't want to now. I, I yeah, I want to, but I don't want to because you don't want to. So it's like, it's, it's. such an unpleasant situation and you're just supposed to deal with it you know there's someone out there who's just lovely and you want to go for it but you want to spare this person uh like a pack of wolves just tearing them apart what do you need to know right now? The star in reverse. So it's there's sort of a feeling of of your negative energy is kind of creating more negative energy. So it's like this is you having a lack of whatever you have a lack of. Like you have a lack of faith that you could ever be happy again. You could ever a lack of confidence in yourself so you stay hidden away and you, you don't start looking for what could make you happy it's it's a complete lack you're coming from life from a lack point of view tell me more about this Yeah. The universe is putting you through the ringer here to see see how much you're gonna put up with. What are you what are you gonna put up with? How much crap are you gonna let the universe sling at you before you go, you know what, I've had enough. It's on my terms. I am the creator of my own universe, so I'm gonna take over and I'm going to be happy the way I want to be happy. To hell with you all. The universe is just going to keep throwing crap at you until you put your foot down and say, that's it. Enough now. What do you need to do about it? Two of Swords. This is about making decisions. And it's not really a decision that's that difficult. you got the devil on one of your shoulders saying, go on. Then you got the angel on the other. I don't know. I'm gonna be devil's advocate here. Go on. Look, look at the blindfold. Just take the blindfold off. Open your eyes. See the magic. See that it's really not that difficult to make a decision. You're making it difficult. Tell me more about this. I'm being drawn towards another deck here. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got the two of swords, like I said. Then we got death. Death is an ending. 
but it's also a new beginning. So we've got the Two of Swords, we've got the Ace of Swords. It's taking action. Spreading your wings. It's death. It's 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 ending what needs to end. Closing a door and opening one. Do you think you can do it though? Do you think you've got the the strength to do it? Because we've got this in reverse. That's kind of what's currently in, on your mind at the moment is that you want to be strong. You want to make it work. But it's unhealthy and it's unhappy and it's toxic and it's not fair. You want to make the decision. You want you want to make the decision to end it, so you can have a new beginning. You want to take action. You don't really know how to. This three pentacles in reverse. This is like a. a it's, n it's not working. This is about teamwork. This is about working together. But it's not working. You're not working together. So that's part of that decision. Is this? It's not working. So the other part of that decision is well, end it. Take some action. Make a decision. So the outcome here, I'm going to read this. Sorry, I'm fiddling with my bra. I don't wear bras very often. I wear sports bras. They're much more comfortable. Let me drum to this other deck. Hold on for a second. Just give me something to do with this two of swords here. almost like you're obsolete right yeah that's the word I'm, I, I'm like I'm gonna, I can't get it it's on the tip of my tongue it's almost like you're obsolete I don't trust you to do anything I don't even trust you to make a sandwich I'll do it I'm just hoovering I can do this I don't know I can run a hoover back I'll just do it all right I'll hang the laundry out there no you would do it wrong. All right, I'll just go and sit in the other room then. You can never help me. Oh, God. I always read these up right. Broken heart. It has broken your heart. Because you wanted it to work. And you want it to work so much that you've been willing to put up with this behaviour for too long. And now you're at this, Angel of Love. You're at this because you, you're trying to make a decision here. Between fire and ice. <laughs> Stay in the ice and the cold and... be unhappy or go towards the fire and would you be happy with the ice would you be happy with the fire how do you know you know wait like, would you be happy be unhappy i don't know all i know is that you're not and you're not getting anything out of this relationship. But you do wish you could be happy with this person. Because you were once. You want it back. You wish you could come back. So you sort of feel like. I, I should go towards the ice. I should. You know. It worked once. <sighs> but the fire could be hot. It's like the angel and the devil sitting on your shoulder again. I'm still being devil's advocate here. And saying. Once love's gone in a relationship, it's gone. I've never experienced myself it ever coming back. Once I don't love someone anymore, I can't ever really learn to love them again. I'm going to read this outcome here. I've got the page of 
cups in reverse. I couldn't see it. Another page of cups in reverse. I'm going to read this as the outcome. I'm going to take it into the extent where I'm going to ask about this person in your life. The one you want to be with, but they're cold. They're ice. I'm going to ask about them. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? I'm going to ask about the other person too. There's somebody who's tickling your fancy a little bit. I think this is them. I also think it's you. You've got a lot to give, my love. You're just trying to figure out whether it makes sense or not. Let's read this uh, outcome here. Why is the page of cups in reverse for the outcome? It's just a wall in the way. I just, I just see a wall in the way. Boundaries. What are you willing to accept? If you're willing to accept what's been put before you, no intimacy, no love, uh, a complete lack of respect, because I don't think that this person has any respect for you now or speaks to you kindly. Are you willing to accept that as your life from now on? Or are you going to set your boundaries and say that's unacceptable? It's completely unacceptable. I'm a human being and I have emotions and feelings and needs. And you can't treat me like this. So do you do that? Do you set your boundaries? No, this is karma. This is... Judgment Day. Do you understand that, because we've got the death card as well, that when you get to this point in a relationship, that's it. It's the end. It's done. That was your karmic relationship and now it's time to step forward. Move on to the next part of your life, next part of your cycle. Do you understand that, yeah, even if you give it up, you might not be happy. It could all just, you know, be a fantasy, but also staying with this person and thinking you could fix it all. That could be a fantasy too. Do you just, do you just be brave? And get on with it and just say, you know what, I can't live like this. So I'm just going to take that step and go out into oblivion and see what happens. That's terrifying, isn't it? Not knowing. It's just the fear of the unknown. Not knowing where you're going, not knowing your direction. Jesus. Especially for a Taurus. Hail. I mean, some people are just like, well, let's just, let's just go, wee, let's do this. You want to, but it's just that I got, I need some sort of guarantees. There are no guarantees, my love. There are no guarantees. Let's pull you your love lyric. What have you got for Taurus? Am I good enough for you? Love you to death by typo negative total tune you don't feel good enough I can tell so are you good enough for them they don't make you feel like you are it's time to set your boundaries nobody can make you feel good enough 
they can definitely make you feel like you're not good enough but that's all within you that can be taken away like that you have to know that you're good enough here and if somebody starts to make you feel like you're not well, it's time to exit isn't it believe in the impossible and that's what this is all about the star in reverse you got to believe you have to know that you can be happy you have to trust that you're the creator here of your own universe and you have to believe that what you want happiness affection love joy all those wonderful things that's what you want it wants you too i'm going to take this into extended my loves thanks for joining me see you later